Hey guys, Big Kev here. Uh, today I wanted to do a little review on the 1.07 update for 7 Days to Die. Um, first thing we noticed, I went ahead and turned it on. You actually have to go to your settings to turn it on. But it's the Distant Terrain update. Which visually looks kind of neat, I guess. It kind of depends on what you like. Um, but before, it used to have basically a haze slash fog in the distance. Um, and as you got closer, things would load in. So the load in is still the same. Only instead of seeing a haze or fog, you actually see um, you know, what's in the distance as far as terrain. Uh, you can't see the object. So what I've noticed off the bat is over there... You can actually see a road layout, and I believe over there the same. Um, so what we're going to do, I have went ahead and put the uh, cheat mode on, just so I can run around a little bit, explore the map, and uh, kind of go over some of the new stuff. Um, along with the update came issues that were fixed as far as the random gen maps and some there were supposed to be more points of interest uh, when you spawn a random gen sorry trying to put this together here so what we're gonna do is run around and kinda see what we could find um, see what the new points of interest are so yeah I'm going to take a run over to that city, and then we'll take a run to that city, and see what we can find out. Okay, guys, so I'm headed to what looks to be a city over here. I see some roads. Um, after we explore that, we're going to go explore the other side that I found over there that I showed you already. So here's one thing I've noticed. Um... Now, this is about the second time I've found something like this. We have a random house out in the middle of a desert, which is somewhat realistic. I mean, um, I like it because this is something. You could set up and get yourself established and ready to explore. That's kind of what I do when I play. Um, but I'm sitting here thinking, you know, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Because I know there's a city there, so I know there's supplies there. It looks like it might actually be a large derelict city. I'm not sure. We'll find out when we get there. I also know there's a city over there to explore. So once I'm done with this, we're going to head around that lake and go check out the other city. Is this realistic, or do you feel like, I don't know, do you feel like turning this on is cheating? My take on the matter is this. With the fog that you get, uh, if you do not have this turned on, I feel like in real life, I could look about that far and recognize that there's a city there. So if I didn't have the distant terrain turned on, all the further I would be able to see is about to that point where the grass stops uh, and beyond that there wouldn't be much other than a fog um, I feel like personally in real life you would be able to actually see something like that probably be able to see the buildings and whatnot sticking up but we're gonna go ahead and continue I'm gonna get us over here let me know what you think in the comments also, if you like what you see on this channel, feel free to sub... Okay, guys, so as I thought, this is uh, the larger city, the derelict city. Um, I took a quick spin through here and haven't found much different. Uh, pretty standard city. I'm thinking the update is basically, like I said, just uh, the points of interest out in the world that aren't really close to these cities. I think these cities are pretty much predetermined. Um, I am going to head over now. I'm going to 
check out the other city that we found from the hill over there and uh, see if there's anything new in that. So, here we go. Okay, so on my way to the other city, I uh, found a random cemetery. Um, now, this isn't part of a city. It's just kind of out in the middle of, kind of in the, on the border of the, uh, I don't know what you would call this, the bombed out region in the desert. I like it. I like the fact that there's more to find, uh, more resources to gather, and kind of, especially when you're starting out, it's going to give you a little bit more of a, uh, I guess it's an advantage, but, uh, you know, something to get started. I've played maps on here on random gen and started maps that basically I've spent the first two days just trying to find a city so I could get, gather more supplies but anyway just wanted to show you guys what I'm finding as I find it we're gonna go ahead and get over to this other city okay guys so it took me a little bit to get over here so you can really see quite a distance um, Again, let me know in the comments what you think, if that's uh, overpowered or not. And it looks to me that what we have found is another derelict city. So this is, I'll say, this is the first time I've found two of these on one map. Uh, let me know what you guys have found, if you've ever found more than one on a map. Um, interesting. So there's one, there's two, and they're not that far from each other, uh, relatively speaking. I'm wondering if they made the map size is any bigger. It goes about 3,000 or 4,000. I don't know. Uh, it seems roughly the same. I'm assuming in here somewhere is going to be the border, and we may go check that out here shortly. Um... But yeah, I'm not going to waste any time going through this city. We know what they are. I'm going to go ahead and jump on my mini bike. I'm going to run around and see what else I can find. So, when I find something, I'll show you. Okay, so in my travels, what I found here is... Uh, they've changed some colors, um, which is kind of cool. I don't know. I've never seen this. Uh, again, if you guys have noticed that before, let me know. Okay, guys, so here's something else we found. Um, I recognize these from Novice Gain. Oh, he's going to kill me. And this is something that I really haven't seen ever in the uh, random gens. Um, sorry, that's not what this video is about. So, yeah, here's another uh, new point of interest, as the patch says. But yeah, I'm going to uh, keep on going. Yep, and here's another one. Now, see, that's pretty cool. Uh, to me, this is a good update. Um, you know, I, I guess there's an argument that, that could be made that it makes it easier. Uh, let me know what you think. I don't know. I, I think it's a little more realistic. Um... You know, thinking about the start of these games, when you start a random gen world, you spawn generally, and before especially, you would spawn out in the middle of nowhere, and I've spent two and three days running to try and find anything. And that's just anything, and generally it would be to find a city. Whereas it seems like with this new patch, you know, I'm not going to get loaded from those couple of houses. I mean, I guess I, I could. I, I could check out, and here's another city nice but as I was saying I guess you know you could um, you could find one or two houses or even the small house I found in the desert and actually get yourself somewhat prepared uh, you know to get building get some supplies get some clothes weapons whatever um, I like it let me know what you guys think with this terrain feature on, distant terrain feature, I was thinking about it. And, you know, if you ever watch any of the survival shows, you want to get to high ground and see what's around you. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to head up to the top of this mountain here and see what we can see. 
Um, I haven't read anything about it. I'm not sure if they have. What I'm really interested to find out is if they've added traders to the game. So I'm going to see if I can find one of those. And, and we'll take a look and see what I found. Okay, so on my way to the mountaintop, uh, I happened to find a uh, another smaller city here. It's kind of cool. It's in the burnout area. Um, definitely easier to find cities. Uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And it looks like we're kind of in a bowl here. Um, that's okay. I don't mind. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Oh. Well, that's a Nice. Alright, so the sun's starting to set. It's going to get dark here pretty quick. But I'm going to try and get to the top of one of these mountains, look around, see what we can find. So far, I haven't found a trader. Um, that's what we're looking for. I may look it up and see if traders have been added. Um, if you guys have found one, let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, let's continue our journey. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, as I was making my way up to the top of the mountain, which I have, I uh, just happened to find a random garage in the middle of a field, which is made out of steel. So my first thought is this is a good place to camp out for your first night if you would be so lucky to find it. And here's a house down here, too. So, I don't know. I like it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. I am going to keep searching for traders. Uh, if you guys know anything about that, drop me a comment. And uh, if you've liked the video so far, check out my other series. I'm doing a 60 days challenge. Um, the point of that is basically to survive 60 days without dying at all. Um, don't plan on putting down a bed. If I die, I have to restart. So go check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. And like I said, feel free to drop a like and subscribe.